Will from Welling here with you back in the book nook. Thank you to Simon and Schuster Publishing for letting us at Bexley read you yet another one of their amazing children's stories. Today's offering is Skelly the Skeleton Girl, written and illustrated entirely by Jimmy Pickering. Okay, I know Halloween was a little while ago, but let's be spooky anyway. Are you sitting comfortably? You're not. Okay, I'll go wait. Now? You good? You good? Alright, alright, okay, we, we can do it. Right. <clears throat> Skelly, the Little Skeleton Girl. Written and illustrated by Jimmy Pickering. My name is Skelly. I'm a skeleton girl. This is my house, high on a hill. I found a bone lying on my floor. I asked my fish if it was his. No, the bone's not mine. I asked my bat as we went for a stroll. No, he said. Does it belong to you? Could it be a bone for me? No, it wasn't mine. I tickled the monster under the stairs and he started to laugh. <laughs> I knew he still had his funny bone. I asked my man-eating plants. No, my dear. We wouldn't eat that wall. Yuck! I asked the ghosts who came to tea if it belonged to them. Honey, we have no bones. We lost those long ago. <laughs> I asked the spider who lived next door if it could be his. No, my dear. Simply put, we spiders don't have bones. I checked my dolls from head to toe. They hadn't lost a stitch. This bony search was making me hungry. I went to the kitchen for a piece of cake. Huh, a bite's gone. That's when I heard a noise outside of my window. I ran past my fish. Past my bat. Past my monster. <laughs> Past my man-eating plants. See you. Into the garden. I peeked around the topiary hedge to see what the noise could be. Does this belong to you? the owner of the bone and I found a new friend too the end short but sweet that one I do enjoy a bit of a spookum don't you thanks once again to our friends at Simon and Schuster for allowing us to read this story to you at home that's all we have time for today so it's goodbye from the book nook I've been Will from Welling and you've been wonderful Later days!